Hello, good evening all of you. Today I will be discussing with you how to extract data from a data frame. So I have taken an Excel file from the ESPN website regarding the golf players. So I will be working with that data. So let us see. I am loading the necessary libraries. And I am loading the Excel sheet from Excel from the sheet 2011. Okay, to a variable golf underscore 2011. So I had ordered, just got 200 rows with 18 variables. So these are the basics of a data frame call names to see the different column names, number of columns, number of rows, and dimension will give you. Uh, number of rows by number of columns and you can see the head um, but it is not showing all the columns and one general function is summary okay summary shows you each column whether it is a character minimum whether any missing data are there NAs are there the missing data then max min that first quartile all these things and I will tell you one more new function that is a scheme function. It is advanced version of summary. Suppose if you type scheme, you can see here this chart scheme. Okay. It tells you number of rows, number of columns, and the frequency how many columns are there in character type, how many columns are there with numeric or logical, all these things. And then here, this is for the character type is showing and now for the for the numeric ones it is showing how many missing values and then it tells you the mean standard deviation and then p0 p25 this p25 is the first quarter this is the min, minimum value and then uh, here is complete rate is the ratio between the missing and the full so if there are missing data it will not show you one okay that's a complete right and the additional information we get is a histogram of the distribution whether we can directly see the histogram of that of that uh, variable so what are the additional things you get the histogram here and also the ratio between the complete right and the missing values and dbl the double that's where dbl comes then p0 P25, P50, P75, P100 correspond to the box plot and the histogram. So this is one function, scheme function. Just I want to introduce that to you. And now you can group say in the scheme. You can give by grouping. So wins, how uh, you can see how many wins are there by typing unique. Okay, suppose you want to know how the wins are distributed unique golf dollar wins okay so there are two one and zero so three levels are there now you can group that based on the wins and then give to scheme okay so here you can get here is the result of that so for each you can see 0, 1, 2. Okay, wins. It is grouped based on the based on the 0, 1, and 2. And then you can see the mean P0, all the things you can see. Okay. So each column you can it is being uh, grouped based on the wins. So like that also you can give for you can give for the scheme function. Okay, so from here. This is the thing, okay. How many same uh, because we have taken the wins, that's why it is reduced to 17. So, this is one and the other way you can use the scheme, and then this is nothing just to show you there are different summary and then scheme, both gives the same type just to tell you 
what is adjusted here for the summary it gives till here for the scheme it gives till here okay. basically difference is it go it shows a histogram and that's it and other than that i don't think anything has been shown okay and now one table function is i have told in that before in if suppose you are typing table for the age column it tells you how many ages age 18 ages coming how many times one time 32 ages coming eight times that's a table function suppose if you give wins so zero wins 162, ti 162 times one win 31 times two wins seven times now again if you are going to If you're going to find which all columns have got missing data, this many columns are there having missing data. So suppose you want to find the mean mean of um, this green regulation. Okay. Golf dollar. Okay. It tells in a note of like I mean uh, it has got missing values. Okay. So you will not get the mean. So you have to use the option n a dot remove the missing data and then find the mean it gives you the value to know where these missing data are there okay so here if you type it tells you which, which all rows has this command tells you which all rows has got missing in age okay so that is printing this many rows has got age as missing data. Suppose here it shows you for the column parts. And now you're going to remove the missing data and make a new data frame. Okay, you can see here now 200 rows are there. You're going to make a new data frame. It has got 157 rows only. Now you are going to work with that clean data. Okay, you can just plot that wins. It shows you both plot, and then it will tell you how many persons with zero wins, one wins, and two wins. It was seven. That's right. And now we can plot it against earnings. Okay, so here this is our this is our data frame now earnings are there so wins and earnings so i'm going to plot for a box plot for wins and earnings it tells you for how zero wins how so you can see for uh, two wins the earnings will be more okay and for birdies you can plot it and then you can see okay so this now suppose you want to find i'm telling i'm going to tell you one new uh, new way i mean not new way a new workaround to find now you want to find the ranks below 10 okay so go this rank below or equal to 10 okay so i'm going to make a lo uh, logical list okay so now if you take this one to show you so many true and false okay here you can see so it tells you which are the true which are the false corresponding to the you got 27 rows in which I, I gave you dollar rank i mean the variable rank where it is less than or equal to 10 so it is telling the first 10 are true rest are false now you want to know so some means total it will show you how many so it will tell you 10 so now you can extract that rows using this command this is a data frame you are giving this logical this thing right. we stored that logical here and if you type this it will give you the rows okay so it is less than or equal to 
whether rank is less than or equal to 10. Okay. So now you, if you want to know which row is true, this is the command for that. Which and then that, that logical to tell you which rows. Now this is one method and you can give directly also golf this data frame data frame variable wealth is less than or equal to 10 you can directly give okay it shows so both ways you can give you can directly you can give here this this command tells for the data frame golf underscore 2011 underscore uh, uh, underscore clean where the variable is less than or equal to 10 instead of making the logical vector you can give directly give and now suppose you want to know the row where is tiger woods player name is tiger woods directly is a command for that so the tiger woods row is removed because some data were missing so in the clean it is not there it is zero okay so this is how you just you can also combine two logical conditions so here i'm giving so i have stored already rank underscore less underscore 10 here for the rows that is less than or equal to 10 rank now i'm, I'm combining here the rounds one column is there so i want to find which all ranks which all rows has got the rank rank less than or equal to 10 and rounds greater than 80 okay so here so i'm taking that previous one rank underscore less underscore 10 and i'm giving that vari rounds variable greater than or equal to 80 okay yes i'm making that and i'm going to find which all rows has got this condition it tells 2 6 and 7 which you can see here 2 6 and 7 yeah rank is less than 10 rounds is greater than 80 6 88 this has got 88 2 6 and 7 yeah 92 here yeah. so you can do that and you can find the end their rows also using this command and another one library is there uh, which library known as data explorer in that a new method for plotting the histogram this here it will plot the we saw on the scheme the same thing to come in a good graphical method okay. i'll show you that plot in the zoomed one each of the uh, variables or columns histogram okay just on library and how to use that and you can uh, create a box plot by grouping by age okay suppose you this is the command for that you will get by age you can I'll tell you I'll show you that two pages it is coming so I am taking the previous one so here age it has been divided from 23 to 48 it has been grouped and so earnings you can see which group has got the more earnings so I am just telling an example this is how the box plot grouped by age so age it, it goes from they put from 23 to 28 mainly five bins and then it is showing okay this uh, this is basically five bins okay. and you can do it by wins also based on the wins same same thing we did for the just like the previous one it has been grouped by 0, 1 and 2 and then for 0 wins 
one wins and two wins how the earnings okay just for this one just like i am telling now box plot by grouping now i am just showing the correlation now here i am taking the 4 to 18 columns and i am making a correlation you can see the correlation correlation matrix okay. events and two this one tells events versus other things other columns and now you can plot it also this is a plot you can see it clearly when it is zoomed you can see so this is for the minus one and this or oh, this color brown this color for one so where, wherever there is a higher correlation this color comes and where, wherever there is a negative correlation this blue color comes this is a correlation plot I hope you understood this how this basics of how to retrieve data from a data frame and then playing around with that I'll just recap that what have I done today I have loaded the data from a excel sheet and I took I did a new function scheme it tells mainly it shows the mainly histogram and then grouping and removing the missing data and the importance of na.rm and then plotting and then basically I, to, I told you today how to extract data from data frame using some conditions less than a or equal to 10 and you can combine some conditions Two conditions you can combine and then you can see the rows so that is it okay thank you if you got any doubt please comment